This is an easy guide for the Beneath Cursed Sands quest. Completion of this quest is needed in order to participate in Raids 3 Tombs of Amasket, which will be released on August 24th of this year. Before starting Beneath Cursed Sands, you will need to have met the following requirements. To get started, bring combat equipment and some food. Energy pots or water skins are optional. Talk to Jamila in Sofanem and read the message she gives you. Go to the campsite east of Sofanem and talk to Mesa. Inspect the blocked entry at Jaltiva's Pyramid. Talk to any citizen or Menophyte guard to begin the first boss battle. Fight the head Menophyte guard without using protection prayers or you'll be damaged for one third of your current hit points. For the next section, you will need combat equipment, coal, tinderbox, spade, and an iron bar. It's also recommended to bring good food, some form of anti-poison, and water skins are optional. Talk to Mesa again at her camp. Head south from the camp, east around the cliffs, then north and up the stairs to the runes of Ulek. Ignite the furnace by using your coal and tinderbox on it. Search the well and you'll receive a stone tablet. Read it. Head back down the stairs you came up and dig at the southernmost ritual pillar to get a chest. The passcode to the chest is 1118513. Go back up the stairs to the furnace and use the scarab mold and iron bar on it to craft a scarab emblem. Use the scarab emblem on the pillar to the north. Rotate the emblem until it faces down. Climb down the stairs and fight the two scarab mages. Using protect from magic will negate all of their attacks. After defeating the mages, climb down either set of stairs in that room. Avoid projectiles and run to either side of this room and pull the lever. Be quick and run to the other side of the room and pull the other lever. You only have one minute to do so before the levers reset. Go through the middle door that has now been opened. Inspect the northwestern plaque and read it. Inspect the southwestern plaque to get four emblems. Next, this little logic puzzle can be frustrating and it's random for each player, but here's a simple trick to help you get the first two emblems placed, leaving the third and fourth emblem to only two possible urns.
If the urns are not in the correct place, you'll be poisoned and hit for high damage along with your stats being lowered when you try and pull the lever. To check if the order is correct, pull the lever to the southwest, speak to the spirit, take the rusty key from the urn in the back of the room. For the next section, you'll need to bring the rusty key and your best range equipment, along with good food and some form of anti-poison, energy pot, and prey pot. Return to the room where you fought the scarab mages and open the door with the rusty key. The champion of Scarbuzz is level 379 and should be fairly easy for such a high level as long as you can avoid his attacks. You want to run from corner to corner and guide the boss around the room while avoiding his special attacks. Note that he can't be frozen. He has three special attacks. Shadow Burst, he will cast a shadow below himself, followed by bursts of shadow magic that reach four tiles and can hit multiple 40s if caught in them. His Shadow Portal drops a portal on the ground which should be destroyed as quickly as possible to avoid 35 damage. The portal has 20 hit points. With Shadow Flames, the boss will shout, We are children of the shadows, summoning a poisonous scarab swarm that leaves a fire path. Kill the swarm as quickly as possible as it only has 5 hit points. After defeating the champion of Scarbuzz, talk to the high priest. The only item you need to start this next section is a piece of raw beef or cooked meat. Go to Narda and talk to either Mesa or Zahur in the building directly south of the fountain. Head west of Narda to the river Elid and look for an island with lilies growing on it. Use the meat on the crocodile, then jump across the stepping stones. Pick the lily of the Elid, and then go back to Zahur. Warm up her chemistry equipment by increasing the middle and right hand bars to their maximum capacities. Then drop the right hand bar to halfway. Finally, lower the middle bar until the puzzle is completed. Bring the Cure Crate to the High Priest in Sofanem. Now, gear up for the final boss fight. For the last section and boss fight, you will need your best melee equipment. I'd also recommend some good food along with a Prey and Strength Pot. Go to the Necropolis and talk to Mesa. There will be a cutscene, then the battle will begin. First off, know that every 7 rounds of action the boss will twitch and use a huge lightning attack in the direction he is currently facing. So either run behind or to the side of him to avoid up to 70 plus damage. Try to stay close to his shadow counterpart when summoned throughout the fight as it will make everything a little easier. 
The shadow will attack with range for the first 50% of this boss's health, then a magic version of the shadow will be summoned for the remaining 50% of his health. Sometimes the boss will switch places with her shadow. Kill the shadow as quick as possible as the screen will quickly turn black and deal a high amount of damage if you don't. After defeating the Menophyte Ak, return to Sophonem and talk to Mesa or the High Priest to finish the quest. Congrats, you've completed Beneath Cursed Sands. Enjoy your Karis Partisan and Circlet of Water and we'll see you in the Tombs of Amasket. Help me reach 2k subs on Retro Sunday YouTube and my 100 follower goal on the Retro Sunday Twitch channel. If you could be so kind as to drop a like, comment, or sub on this video, it'd be much appreciated as we get closer to our 2k sub goal. Of course, as always, thanks for watching.